So if everyone, it's me, Attacker Somebody 2 here, and in today's video, so about a couple weeks ago, maybe a few weeks ago, I don't know, I was talking about a video consistent of why Smash Bros. leaks are very bad and such, and I did say in the video that I was going to be talking about a certain leak being pretty much one of the most infamous Smash Bros. leaks, and even in Ultimate's terms, the biggest leak of all time, and this was back in 2018, and ever since the initial reveal of the Smash Bros. base roster, Fans, especially Smash fans, are still hurt fight from the fact that these certain playable characters were not were not gonna be the ones in the banner. And you might be asking, what leak am I talking about? Well, the way I described it, and I'm talking about the Grinch leak. So with all that out of the way, let's just go and discuss of what the Grinch leak is and how, what history it has in Smash Brothers speculation history and at all times. So some of you might be asking, what the heck is the Grinch League? Well, first off, the Grinch League consists of a photo a, and or some picture, I don't know, a picture of, like, the Smash Bros. banner slash mural, and the mural is just kind of like this, showing all the characters that were, like, that were, like, shown in the base roster and all. And keep in mind, this leak was before, like, Ultimate's initial reveals, re release and also the Smash Bros. base roster. And the Grinch League and the bottom, you can see the Smash Bros. mural again, except it shows characters that were not revealed yet. And it showed the seven characters as it is listed. Chorus Kids, Mock Rider, Gino, Shadow the Hedgehog, Isaac, Banjo-Kazooie, and Ken from Street Fighter. Those seven characters, as you can see, doing their initial poses, and it is very hard to see, seeing how bl blurry it looks, and it is kind of blurry. The thing is, is that we don't really know whether or not these characters were real at the time. Because this leak was back in 2018 of October. So, yeah, I didn't want to talk about this. And the thing is, is that these characters were not initially revealed yet. But, ben, but that time, Ken was announced as being the final base roster character. And what got the fans so upset was that... Incineroar debunked the entire league, meaning that characters such as Shadow the Hedgehog and Isaac being assist trophies and spirits, and the rest of them also being spirits as well. And you might be asking, why is it called the Grinch League to be exact? Well, the reason why it's called the, it's, it's called the Grinch League is just because this was like in 2018, in November, that is like when the Grinch League movie from like I don't, I don't know, I think it was Illumination Studios who made the movie, and it was like the 3D version or something like that, not the live action. It did show a sticker of the Grinch himself, and it showed ne and it showed him next to the Smash Bros. mural, and that's what it is called. And that is kind of why it is called the Grinch League, just because of that certain sticker. Now, there are other leaks, like the ESRB leak, that were like pretty much, I don't know how to say, like, true? Like, that was like... Because the ESRB leak was like Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS turns, but this is Ultimate we're talking about. A lot of people, now this was a lot, now this caused a lot of controversial speculation and predictions because half of them saying this is true, while the other half saying this is not true because it showed characters that people really wanted like Shadow or Banjo and Ken, Isaac from Golden Sun, maybe, and some obscure characters like... I don't know, like, Chorus Kids and Mock Rider. Maybe Excite Bike would be a character or something like that. Now, now I can go into very full detail about the origins of the Grinch League because it has a very huge detail. So I suggest you go to Aaron Nidmar's video talking about the Grinch League since it talks about something to do with, I don't know, like Photoshop or such. And the Grinch League kind of, like, caused so much controversy. And when the, and when the final Smash Bros. Right, revealed... Ken and Incineroar, the leak was soonly debunked ever since, and since in 2020, it still hurts the fact that the characters were not the ones we expected, really. Now, I do see, see some reasons of why the Grinch League was really fake, because, for example, Shadow the Hedgehog right there, Shadow's, like, image, his render, like his Smash Mio render, doesn't really look that official it looks kind of like the official song of the hedgehog renders that you pretty much see in like i don't know the internet and google and such and um it's mock rider i'm not entirely sure of a mock rider because we never really seen a full render of mock rider at all all we ever see was a trophy back in like the brawl and wii u days or something like that 
and also a spirit. Now the chorus kids, now the chorus kids was initially planned as like the red as the rhythm heaven rep back then, but we didn't really get to see the chance of it, but I do not honestly see why the chorus kids, which is one of the reasons why fans think this is also fake as well. Though I do see some reasons people why people saying that this is real because one of the characters Ken now Ken makes sense. I mean who didn't see Ken come in back at the day back at like the speculation days and such. And even if Ken wasn't reveal, we really would have we wouldn't we still wouldn't think this is fake anyway. So with all that out of the way, let me know what you guys think. Are you pretty much interested of the Grinch League and what do you all think of the history of its Smash speculation and pretty much all of Smash Ultimate's leak history and just let me know what you all think. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Remember this, once a legend, always a legend.